Look at this rooster. Rock, it's a rocking rooster. I don't think he's old. Always look up. It's still here. Not quite as much as there was before, but oh my goodness, look at this guy. <gasps> look at this cookie jar. There's a little ding on his ear right there, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It all comes down to price. It's weird. It's a phase I'm going through. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Oh boy, it's another evening trip to Goodwill. But the last time I came to this Goodwill, I came away with a cart full of amazing vintage cool items. So I'm hoping I can have that same luck again. But we can't find out by sitting here in the car. We have to get inside. So without further ado, let's get shop done. All right. Open, 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 open. All right. Lucky cart time. Which one is it going to be? I don't know. This one over here on the end is calling me. Let's go with the dark blue today. Dark blue it is. Color is orange. I already see some interesting things like this satin glass basket. Fight a la main. $9.99. It's not a super desirable color in this, so I'm probably gonna leave that one. It's unfortunate that it is just a, it's not clear, it's frosted, but it's frosted's a version of clear that just doesn't demand the highest of resale value. I want, why does he have a little hook thing up here? I wonder what he was for. I don't know. He's very cute, though. Got some dolls. Little duck. Hello, little duck. Yeah. You don't super excite me. Actually, I don't see anything on this shelf that I like. Cute little hobbyist sloth guy. And just a little trinket nice but not not high-end WTD 61 Manching nope 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 okay nothing there let's move on to the next shelf this looks interesting I like the square shape of this it is horrend leaf Sheraton Ivory England it's nice. Is it $9.99 nice? Mm, I don't think so. It would need to sell for $30 plus for me to pick it up for $9.99. So I'll leave that one. I'll look at the, I think he's a woodpecker. He's an Andrea by Sadek. He's got a broken pedal though. Rachel's really been enjoying our woodpecker family that lives right by the house. She's learned their call. She's learned to know when they're busy plucking at the at the telephone post is what they go after the most. This is a, just a nice little antique dish, hand painted. It's got a little impressed mark on there. $1.99. I think that'll be our first buy of the day. Let's see what you are. 1990 Aaron Turner's mug. Now I still have a bunch of precious moments to sell, but I can't pick them up for $5.99. No can do, no can do. They just don't bring enough to warrant that. Very resin cows there. Little deer bell. Now we're gonna leave you see what's over here. 
kind of a cool terrine, but a little big to be dealing with today. Hmm, lots of hobbyist pieces. He, I think, would have had salt and peppers with him. Is that a little Sissel Hedgehog? Sure is, for $3.99, we'll grab him. Got some chimpanzees with bananas. Kind of cute. Those are odd looking little characters. $7.99 red tag. Pretty glass candle holders. What's in here? Let's... Oops, some champagne goblets. <gasps> Turtles from Puerto Vallarta. They have traveled quite a ways. Hmm. Not seen anything exciting on the first row. Got some kind of a little oil lamp diffuser guy. Let's see what's in the holiday section. Wow. I'm not seeing anything. Gingerbread Lane. What are you? Ceramic Christmas tree candle holder. Wonder what you look like. $4.99, which is not bad. There we go. Uh, it's just nothing special. It's just nothing special. Oh. Almost walk right by the bristle tree. $3.99. Do I like you for $3.99? You're kind of big. I like smaller ones. Smaller bristle. That's what I would like. Well. I have started this way before and then ended up with a full cart. So we'll just see what happens. We have lots and lots of shelves to still get through. Happy Easter. Cookie cutters? Oh, there you go. They're cookie cutters. Why would I doubt that? I see a pair of nice candle holders. They are $5.99 each though, and they are a little bit beat up. If they weren't beat up, I might pay that because they are vintage and they're cool, but their condition is not super great. Are you a Lazy Susan? You are a Lazy Susan. I've been picking up Lazy Susans lately and I don't know why. I like the size of this one. It's not overly big. I feel like I want to paint this white and use it for my whatnot sales. So we'll grab it. What are you? Just says John. I'm not sure I understand that. Not sure I want to understand that. That's cute. Little cheese board. Meritage. It's pretty scratched up. I don't think it's worth putting the time in to fix either. A little cedar box. Yeah, it's not real exciting. How about this one? Is this one exciting? What you got on you? Little Asian print. It does play. Oh, what are you? Little domed. That's old and interesting. I don't know what you use it for, but I like it. And it's only $3.99. Yes. Oh, gosh darn it. It's cracked. Yep. Wood cracks, too. It isn't just the pottery and porcelain that cracks. Gotta look for the wood cracks around here, too. That's too bad. These are super cool little logs. Perfect for my little project that I will be starting soon. Now that my office is almost done, yes, I'll give an office update very soon because it's getting close to being exactly the way I want it. I have been working hard, believe it or not, and uh, it's happening. Look at this rooster. 
rock it's a rocking rooster i don't think he's old i think he's made to look old 7.99 i'm leaving him but let me know in the comments if you think i should have got him will i regret not getting the rocking rooster i don't know I, he's just he's it's just a newer piece and for that reason he didn't uh, excite me a whole lot Ugh, camel is cool but he's got a chipped edge tool rules don't touch them don't move them don't borrow them don't even look at them <laughs> to get that for my handyman you probably get a kick out of that hmm interesting shaped little guy who makes you it is stainless steel from Denmark it does look like it's from Denmark it would be two dollars I don't why don't I like that I like that for two dollars I'm gonna grab it here's another one of those folding kind of tidbit guys this is a newer one and it's something's amiss because it doesn't stay folded and I'm not exactly sure what's missing but we're gonna leave it always look up these are nice candle holders with marble bases now they're not super old because they have barcodes on them made in India all aluminum candle holder they are $12.99 each though and again, I'm not, I'm not sure. They're not the same size, so it's like there needs to be, to, like there needs to be like one more. I'm gonna pass on them. They're nice, but I'm gonna pass them. Made in India. All right, I don't see anything else exciting in the metals. We are in the clear glass vases. Let's see if there's anything exciting. This thing is still here. I looked at this and like, what could I use that for? I don't know. I don't know. It looks like an iceberg, but it's super heavy. So it would make anything I used it for super heavy. These are called Eiffel Tower vases and they can do okay. I'm not a big fan of them though. They're like, it's trying to be a swung vase, but it's not a swung vase. That's got a big chip on it. Kind of a cool old green drip piece. This is very, very cheaply made and very heavy. Uh, and it's $14.99. I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. I almost dropped my phone though. A little beehive. Oh, you've got damage. Everything is damaged tonight. Goodness gracious. I see a nice blue and pink band ball. Don't be cracked. Don't be cracked. Don't be cracked. You're not cracked. You are awesome. And I am taking you home. All right. That was a nice find. Little black, you know what? I have one of these. And if I get this one, I will have a matching pair. It's a candle holder. It's a Indiana glass and it's $2.99. Yay. All right, let's see. What else could be in here? You know, I love these little things, these little coil baskets. I always pick them up if they're at the right price. And $1.99 is definitely the right price, but this one's all stained. It's all stained, so no can do. Look at this vase with feathers on it. It's got a signature on there, but I can't, I can't quite make that out. And I don't know how much it is. Is that a crack? don't know how much it is. You know what? I like it. Let's grab it. I see a cool little log here that um, would be great for Priscilla. I'll have to get those staples out somehow. 
but uh, she could hide underneath here. It's $4.99. That's perfect. This red pottery piece is really nice too. NorCal. It's a quite a substantial pot. It doesn't have any drainage in it though, which is strange for such a big pot. I do like it though. For six bucks. Like, could I get 20 bucks for this? I don't know. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. I'd have to get it in the store. It's super heavy, so shipping would be a monster, but I think I'm going to leave that one. Come around this way. Takes us to the plastics. Poor Rachel just called me all in a frenzy because uh, one of our parakeets who was in isolation due to an injury and being rehabilitated, uh, just laid two eggs. And uh, she has not been with a male, though they are not fertile eggs or anything, but she laid two eggs. And so it's a little distressing because we don't want them laying eggs, but it's what birds do sometimes. Um, so now we have to like make sure we get her calcium treatments up and such. And then we notice that uh, one of our Oh, you are a music box and you're broken. One of our cockatiels is squabbling with the other cockatiel. So now we have to set up a separate cage for him. And I'm telling you, it's all a day in the life when you rescue animals. You have to be ready to separate them, move them around, do different things to keep everybody safe and sound. I didn't even mean for that to rhyme, but it just did. That is a piece of Chinese art glass, but it's kind of pretty, I must say. It's $10 though. It's worth $20.25. And it's a big, kind of a obnoxious piece to ship, so not one that I want to deal with. Let's see. Liberty. What's this leaf? Is it a leaf or is it a starfish? I think it's supposed to be like some kind of a flower. It's very chipped up. Oh, I don't see anything else here. It's an odd piece. Very damaged. Is that a glass piece too? It is, but it's not very well made. It's just painted. Just painted. I thought if that was fused, it'd be cool, but it's just painted. All right, nothing else here. What's back here? Winning isn't everything. That's true. Oh, it's not the only thing. It's not. We will not even acknowledge that. Pittsburgh. Pretty stoneware. These are cute little vintage stoneware mugs. I do always pick these up and they sell really well for me. I love those, the little blue flowers. I'm looking for a price, oh, 99 cents each, perfect. All right, let's see if there's any more of those. Sometimes things get all separated on these shelves. You just gotta look a little deeper. My spirit animal is a unicorn. What does this one say? It's turned. Can't tell what it says, but they're both unicorn related. And those are new. I'm debating. I'm de oh, here we go. I can turn it here. Let's see what this one says. Let's see if it's, if it's intriguing enough, then we'll get them. Uh, oh, I can read it now. Always be yourself unless you are a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. Okay. Those are cool. I'll grab those. This is a substantial pitcher and mugs. I don't like the quality of the piece though. When it's 15 for the pitcher and then it's six for each mug. So that's not in a resale range. These are pretty. Mainstays, purple grapes. What is this mug over here? Meowgical for $2.99. K 
cat mugs are always a hit. Let's see if there's any more that match what we already got. I see these little gnomes, but they are definitely holiday related. They're stacking, which is cool. There was probably a set of four at some point in their life. Oh, I see one I have to get for Jordan. You know, she's a big plant girl and uh, that's a nice size coffee mug for 50 cents. I did see the goblet right as I was standing up. Oh, it's got a big chip. All right, we can leave you. We will leave you and go over here into the glassware now. See if there's anything exciting. Mmm. Tomato. Why does that? Oh, they're Bloody Mary glasses. I like the blue. I just am not really in the mood to deal with glassware right now. I, again, it's like I just got my office organized. I'm getting it straightened up. Glassware takes up a lot of space. Takes a little more to deal with. So I'm going to leave the glassware behind. It's still here. Not quite as much as there was before, but oh my goodness, look at this guy. <gasps> look at this cookie jar. There's a little ding on his ear right there, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It all comes down to price. $6.99, that's it. We'll do it, we'll do it. He's a GKA, GKA, and he's fabulous, and we're getting him. I have had a lot of people asking me about my mushroom project. So the mushroom project is a whole bunch of stuff that I bought to make outdoor mushroom like fairy lamps out of. For instance, I'd buy a vase, not a vase, usually. Okay, I'd buy like a cup like this and I'd put it like this and then I'd get a bowl that kind of matches and I'd make a mushroom out of it. And I got all the pieces and parts and then I ended up having to move. And those boxes of items are still in storage. Um, because with everything happening in my life, I just never got to it. So it is still on my list of things I want to do once I get those items back out of storage. kind of love that jar. But I'm going to leave it because it's big. Again, it's big. So I hope that answers the mushroom project question. The project I'm working on right now is much smaller pieces and parts. Hot oven Parkerware. I like this piece for $5.99. That's really pretty. I'm looking to see if it's got any damage and I'm not seeing any. I think I'll pick that up. Hmm, Let's see some transferware. Oh, that's the Grand Canyon National Park. Look at that. Huh. I wonder how old that is. It's a Vernon Kilns. I'm asking $5.99. It's a neat piece. It's called a polychrome transferware. That simply means many colors. Um, there's all the colors. Usually transferware is like two colors, like a red and white or a blue and white or a black and white. But this is many colors, which is kind of cool. Pretty little creamer, it looks like that is handmade. When is that dated? 1979, that's sweet. I'm interested in this canister. Those roses are so vibrant. It's a hobby piece. Did somebody paint those on there? Nice job. This set has been here for a while because they have it priced at $20. And uh, that's a little high for that piece, but they will be having a half price sale. But look what I just found. And I would feel remiss in not joining this little family back together. So let's go over here. Let's grab you and let's bring you back. There we go. Now, hopefully somebody will rescue and do something cool with those. That's metal. I did not expect that to be metal. It's made in India. That's got a really nice look to it. I don't know why I've been attracted to some of the metals lately. It's weird. It's a phase I'm going through. I guess because I'm watching 
some other like designers like Laura Caldwell and uh, she inspires me to look a little beyond my you know comfort zones early American pewter by web butter dish for $5.99 it's bent it is bent Yeah, so I'm kind of coming out of my, I don't know if comfort zone's the right word, coming out of my, my usual just way of thinking. That is a marble mortar and pestle, but it's broken. And then I see this little Betsy Clark plaque here. It's definitely vintage, just not worth a whole bunch. We've got a rooster teapot by French Country, Monte Carlo, Las Vegas. We've got the Red Riding Hood Missing the Cap, Express 2000. There's a lot of these out there. That's a really pretty little dish, little sauce dish. You know what? That would work good for my new project. I could make something little with that. Something little and beautiful. I could make maybe a scene with ducks swimming. Yes. Doesn't that look like water? doesn't have a price. I'm sure it'll be priced good. All right, now we're over in the cooking stuff. I kind of look for things for Noah. I look for things that are vintage and resaleable. And I look for things that are out of place because that happens over here too. Look, there's a piece of glass. This might actually... No, no, it's not. I have one very similar that's Romanian glass but it's better quality than that one. Knew it once I put my hands on it. All right, what's going on over here? Refill cartridge for two-sided laminate. So I don't know if that's what we, I don't know what our laminating machine uses, to tell you the truth. We laminate a lot of stuff, but I feel like it's bigger than that. Ooh, a graph composition book. I do a lot of things with graphs. 99 cents. I'm grabbing that one for me. Alright. Don't see anything else there. I do look for office supplies that we need at the store. We go through a lot of things now. I see another canvas. She doesn't do a whole lot with these big canvases. And I've gotten her a bunch of the big canvases and she sticks to the little ones. She likes little paintings. So, I am not going to pick that up. Yep, I see it. I see the marble pen holder for $5.99. That will sell on half price day for sure. Okay, I don't think I see anything else here. All right, next row, we've got the Gingham Goose Humpty Dumpty quilt pattern. Hmm. That's very cute. We should leave that for somebody who will actually make it. What is this? A little enter block. I'm not sure I understand that. <sighs> Ribbons. Just a mishmash of stuff. Look in the bathroom stuff where every once in a while there can be something cool. Like a puffer fish? What is this? What is he? Remember to make a fish face while sipping. Oh, it's a it's a drink container thing. Alright. A dog calming chair. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at all of these dolls. Put together all in one thing for 25 bucks. Oh goodness, somebody's been Digging through the dolls here. There must have been like one good one in there somebody wanted. I don't do much with the Barbie stuff, although I do have a big bin of Barbie clothes and accessories. I do need to sell on a whatnot sale soon. And it's going to be one of my just unbox it and sell it as I go because I have no idea what's in there and I don't know much about it. This says Pottery Barn. It's got me intrigued because it says pottery barn oh it's albums okay it's photo albums that's what it is don't need that 
ice skates. I remember my ice skating days. Man, that just seems like a long time ago. A fort builder includes 50 balls and 100 sticks. Huh? How is that a fort builder? Why would there be balls associated with a fort building? Just add sheets. Uh, I'm confused. I guess the little balls hold the sticks together to make the shape of the fort. I guess that's how it would be. All right, I can go with that. I saw some vintagey looking wood back here and it er turns into two, um, turns into, turns out to be somebody's puzzles that they have permanently affixed to wood. Kind of a vintage project, but not something super desirable because that has just, you know, the memory of making that puzzle for whoever made the puzzle. Again, there's another one. So somebody's puzzle collection came here. And we'll give a look through all of the art. Old time bath salts. Calming and soothing. Oh my gosh, that's cute. For $4.99, I will grab that. And there was a second one. This one's missing the glass, but I think these are fantastic. So I will maybe even take the glass out of this first one and sell them together. Let's see what's behind here. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Look at the colors in that. Let's see if I can get it without all that fluorescent lighting flashing on it. It's the tree kind of like looking up at the moon. I really like this. Frameables. What do I... Umbra. Tree free greetings. I don't know, but I like it. I would actually hang this up. That's a really neat looking acrylic pour. Noah likes those a lot. He's got no more wall room, though. And we're still working on the house situation. We have no idea where we're going. We're just, we're just kind of waiting for God to tell us which house we're supposed to be moving to. Uh, it always happens. He always provides. We always learn a little bit more about renting and moving. We're trying to buy this time. We're really trying to buy this time. Um, but we don't know if it's going to happen in time. Oh, I know who this is. I know who this is. This is an artist. There's a gallery. This is an artist. That was dumb. Um, uh, they have a gallery at the Silverton Hotel here in Vegas. And I have a print of this. Um, it's that. Cormier, that's it, Will Cormier. Um, I have a print that looks just like Rachel when she had her long hair um, and I've held on to it and I've never hung it up. And now I think I'm gonna sell it because she doesn't have the long hair anymore, it doesn't look like her. And now I will have two of them because I'm gonna pick this up for $4.99. And I think that about does it for the art. Quick peek of what's up on the wall because sometimes you can forget to look up I don't see anything really sparking my interest. All right. But over here, we have all the small art, which is a lot easier to deal with. I just saw the telephone on there and I'm like, nope, nope, it's just a frame. And that's what ends up over here is a lot of frames. But I have found some really good things, like this house protected by killer dust bunnies. <laughs> That's kind of fun. 1999, there was something on there, but there isn't any more. All right. Nothing too enticing in the small art there. Anything on this side? What's that a photo of? I don't know. It looks like a... I mean, those are airplanes on there. 
I don't know where that would be. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's um that's an old Air Force One. Huh, I wonder I wonder how it looks like nineteen seventies maybe? Hmm. Those are kind of cool old prints. I'll leave those for somebody else who that's more their niche, but those are intriguing. All right, I think we're moving on. Oh no, that's a cool lamp. It's only 350. I wonder what's wrong with it. I wonder if it works. It's even got its little sea urchin finial. Oh, we got a new sea urchin today. We actually, we got a whole bunch of new critters today uh, because I have something called uh, hair algae going on in one of my tanks. And uh, I got a whole bunch of critters that eat hair algae today. Uh, so, oh, I see some. Okay, back to this, Danny. I will show you. I'll show you a little clip of uh, the the new critters in the aquarium. I will do that. I will attach that onto the end of this video for you. But please also go check out the Niche Lady Critter Cam, where I'm putting more of the aquarium footage and critter videos. I'm thinking somebody maybe didn't want it because of these couple of like little dings here. I'm, I'm debating. I'm. De it's only three fifty. It's only three fifty. What are you debating, Danny? Just grab it. Look at the shade on this one. That's all beaded too. I don't necessarily like the lamp. Handmade original beaded shade. They were asking one hundred and ninety-eight dollars, and they're asking forty dollars. I am not tempted at $40, but it is a cool shade. Definitely is a cool shade. Let's take a peek down here, see what they have. If there's anything that would work good as a display piece at the store, uh, because we are gonna add more spaces for our new dealers. I do like that old maple bookcase for 20 bucks can't get that in my car right now. Oh, these are nice. Look at these. Big old floor baskets. 25 bucks. That just seems like a really good price. I'm not going to grab it because it's not something I can ship, but uh, that's really cool. That's the kind of stuff we wait for uh, getting donated at the good stuff. I don't go out and buy the big stuff so much for putting in the store. I let that kind of stuff come in and then let the nonprofits have the benefit of that. That's a cool panel. And I think that's going to do it in the furniture section for us tonight. We're going to look in the miscellaneous fabrics. Look at this eagle tapestry. Let's see what that says. Brooklyn, New York. 3T. It's kind of nice. Hmm. I'm also going to be doing a linen sale. Definitely going to be doing a linen sale. Much like I've done some of the other like mystery unboxings because I just have tubs and it's not like my favorite thing to sell, so I've been putting it off. And uh, so I think the best way for me to do it is just go through it and sell it as I go. And it's all got to go. So I sell big piles of stuff. And I think it's fun. I hope it's fun. If you've been to one of those types of sales on my whatnot, let me know if that was fun and you'd like me to do more of that kind of thing. Isn't it funny? Like the last store I went to, there was like no pillows. And this store is overflowing with pillows. Go figure. But there's no exciting pillows, except maybe I see a Noah's Ark pillow that's really cute. Really nice quality, too. The thing about pillows like this is nobody has used this pillow to, like, sleep on or anything. It's really just decorative. It's not priced, uh, but I kind of like it. I do. I kind of like it. I'm going to grab this pillow. All right, let's see if there's anything cool in the toys. Hmm, it's not looking promising, is it? I see 
something odd. What is this? It's like a really weird Humpty Dumpty. I don't even, I don't even know what to think about you. Okay, no. That's a newer Snoopy. Swing over to this side. See if there's anything over here. Mm. Oh, big donkey from Shrek. Yes. Say plush bank. I say bank. That's fun. Oh, I haven't done it for a while, have I? Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. There you go. Got the little little earworm now. Cute little elephant. Nope, nothing in the toys tonight. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna head to the checkout. Get home, help Rachel out with her little distress situation. Oh my goodness, I'm walking by and I see this ginormous spoon. How ridiculously fun is that? But it's $15, okay. Squirrel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out. I'm, I'm staying on course. Gotta get home, take care of the bird situation. Stay tuned for the recap. I will tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. quiet, enjoyable trip to Goodwill. And uh, I have my new favorite cashier. You know who you are. I will see you on the next one. Uh, anyway, I am uh, excited to go home and do a little research on some of these things that I bought. You've already seen it in the recap because I research every item before it goes in the recap. And uh, I don't even know how much I'm gonna make off this stuff yet as I as I say this because I just finished videoing but you've seen it uh, if you haven't done so already I'd appreciate a little subscribe to the channel and a little thumbs up kind of dude and a comment if you would be so kind and I will uh, see you on the next one you go be profitable and make it fun here's one of our new sea hairs who, as you can see, is down there in a little cluster of uh, hair algae. Had a little bit of an issue with the hair algae in the tank, as you can see here. So we got we got some critters that are gonna 
eat and take care of that. So this little guy is what's known as a fighting conch. Look at his eyeball. It's almost creepy. It's almost creepy how they stare out from under their little shell. There's another one back there too. He's kind of hiding. He's not coming out to say hi. Inside here, I don't know, let's see if we can get in there and see him. Oh, where are you? There you are. This is a pithos crab. Yeah, he's that big. He is that big of a crab and he's pretty spectacular. And then we have, of course, hermit crabs and such. Let's see, oh, hello little grouper, where are you? There you are, hello. How are you, buddy? You're waiting for food, I know. And then here is our new urchin. It looks like, we always have to check if those shells are empty or if they have a hermit crab in them, as we do have to rescue hermit crabs off of his back fairly often. They do like to collect things. And then here is our original little conch guy. He is cruising along. He has gathered algae already on his self. That's how we know he's the he's the OG of the tank, so to speak. That is a cowrie shell covered with algae. It's under there. This is why we needed to get all of the new cleanup crew critters in here to uh, have a little feast. Oh, there's our new little flame hawk. His name is Spock. Oh yeah, he just, he's camera shy. He's camera shy. And yes, Banana's in here somewhere. Banana has not come out to play yet because the lights just came on. The corals haven't woken up yet. We released most of the new critters right over in this area. That's why I'm kind of focused over here. There's the sea hare. Sorry if I'm a, a little unsteady here. Then of course, you know, snails. I think we're the only ones fascinated with the snails and, and how they eat from the tank. And for those that can appreciate the funness of a snail munching on algae, here you go. We love to watch their little mouths just uh, cruise along. Oh, I see you, Spock. I see you. Ah, there's Mr. Banana. Hello. You ready to come out and get some breakfast? My fine friend. He's so skeptical. He's like, what else are you gonna put in this tank? You put all of these weird things in here yesterday. All right, good to see you, buddy.